more green hell tonight. I think I'm 35 or so hours into the game. Day 59. I should have probably waited to start stream until after I loaded the game, since it takes so, so long to load. But that's okay. We'll just talk for a moment. <laughs> I am running out of things to do in the game. Um, I think I've achieved just about everything in it. Um, there's a few places I haven't explored, but uh, there's nothing really significant there. So uh, when I do that, it'll just be for the sake of uh, exploration. Um... So yeah, I'm eagerly anticipating the uh, the next patch to the game, next update, uh, which I know the game, I know the game is releasing in September, and uh, I believe that when it releases, that it will include the story mode, and I will play through that on stream, from beginning to end, and uh, we'll die a lot al along the way. I believe after that comes uh, co-op mode, which will be nice. I'll uh, definitely want to play this with a friend. Um, today I just plan on uh, surviving a bit. Maybe I, uh, maybe I'll expand on my uh, mud house. Um, I mean, it, it really provides everything it needs to at the moment. But I might I might make it more expansive, or I can uh, go exploring again. I haven't completely decided yet what I'm gonna do. This is the kind of game though that even if you have only one more thing to do, it uh, it usually requires a trek across the the entire jungle where you almost die ten times and you find yourself um, taking a long time and. Um, doing a whole lot. Oh, that's right. I need to smelt this metal down. Get this stuff. Nothing's near expiration quite yet. Cool. Don't like having dirty water. We'll keep that like that. I can always throw, uh... Eh, I'll get some bones. We'll throw that in, uh... Whoop, not that. A lot of things I don't use very often. Got campfire ash. Oh, there's some bones right there. I could've grabbed. Oh, well. We'll save that for later, right? I, I saved the last time on a good note. Everything's full up. Um, these are waiting for fish. This has nothing in it. I have plenty of mud if I choose to uh, do any expanding. Of course, it's nighttime and it's raining. I have all this bamboo if I choose to build a few things. Let's see what it takes to uh, to melt down this metal. Obviously, it's going to take. Whoops! I did not mean. Ah! I definitely did not mean to do that. Interesting that whenever I'm standing here, I can pick up bamboo from way over there. Maybe I didn't do that some charcoal in there. I probably need to get some more from here. Take the max. However much I can carry. Oh, I like having these two next to each other. Very complimentary that way. And I have some dry leaves. Let's start a fire. It's raining, but we're under cover. We should be good. I think the uh, mud shelter cover uh, counts as a cover. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There we go. I don't know how long it takes down uh, takes to melt down one of these cans. 
I have quite a few cans to melt down. But I'm hoping that gives me um, some good metal, and I'm going to upgrade all my tools to metal. Ooh. <clears throat> These arrows are in my way. Let's see, we're doing some sorting here. While we wait on this can. Bandages up there. That's a little better. That takes quite a bit. Can I throw more than one can in there? Nope. I'm just going to have to keep an eye on it. That's a really slow process. <clears throat> I'm hoping it gives me a good chunk of metal then. What else can I build? I mean, obviously, can I, I can expand the house a bit, but I can't really do it in this direction, which has the most space, because everything else I built is on this side. Unless I'm willing to uh, move it all, which I'm not, because my house doesn't need to be bigger. Ooh, we got a lizard in here. Harvest. I don't have any space, do I? No, I do. Every now and then this manages to catch a lizard. Got a mouse in here. Um, I might have to fuel this fire some more. Keep it going, because there's no reason not to. I have so much charcoal. We can keep it going forever. Plus we'll be able to cook up this uh, meat and stuff. Because uh, we know this drying rack's not doing so well in this rain. And unfortunately, I can't cover this. And they don't let you take anything off once you put it on until it's done. So that's all uh, in limbo for a while. How many ropes do I have? I am got ropes. Are you doing about halfway through? I uh, boil this egg. Sure did. Boiled egg lasts a long time. Look at this trap. Get off my bridge. You don't belong in my bridge. And this trap was triggered by nothing. That happens fairly often. Alright, we don't have a caiman around here trying to kill me. Or a puma, which killed me last time. Yeah, I need to upgrade all metal tools. I know how to make a metal pickaxe. I'm trying to remember how to make a metal axe. Because that's way more metal spear. That would be useful. Uh, let's see. A stick and a stone. So you think a stick and uh, the metal would be enough, but it's not. For a stone axe, I guess. Stick, stone, and rope. Blade axe. It really shows me what I can make with metal. I guess I'll have to mess around a little more with the uh, molds. Almost done. Well, I guess I was able to... Uh, Do I need to fuel this? That wouldn't make a whole lot of sense, would it? I need to stick wood in there. That's what I need to do. I remember now. <clears throat> so we're not going to do that right now because I don't want to use up all my wood. What are these bamboos, bamboo sticks doing away from their brethren? 
top. Rope. Some more rope. This has been here quite a while without me picking it up. Okay, you're in my way. You go over there. All right. And then a stick. Now we're just kind of wasting time until we can check out this. Um, let's see. So I got the metal blade. And we know a stick by itself does nothing. That would be enough to normally make an axe. So you add a rope, and it gives you a pickaxe. I'm not sure I want a pickaxe. So until I look up metal blade... Ooh, there we go. Metal, iron, ore. I need to look up at some point, uh, since the game does not provide you with any information in this regard. Uh, what exactly is possible? I have a mold right here. Because the only thing I used, I believe I made this stone blade in order to make this metal blade. Yep. I made a mold with the stone blade. Now that stone blade is made, f is used for everything, I thought. Spears, axe... Use the same stone blade. Can't make a mold of a weapon now. I don't think I can make a, a mold of uh, obsidian bone. Huh. You can't craft with any of that. Where did that coconut bowl come from? Did I pull that through the wall? Game's being a little weird sometimes. Ooh, these are burned, aren't they? No, cooked. Still in time, even though I forgot they existed. Yeah, that still has a quite a ways to go. <clears throat> Nothing in any of these traps yet. in here for now. It's not vital that I use it right now. What else can I throw in here at the moment? Wood resin. I don't know what the wood resin's for. I'm gonna look that up right now. really hate to look things up for games. But this does not tell you anything. Now ordinarily, I would um, experiment, but this is the kind of game where I can probably spend all day trying to combine different things and not find anything that works. I need more bandages too. Let's see, I got Goliath, I have Honey, I have Leaf. Um, I really need... fish bones. I don't need that many. I don't even need this one. I need ash and uh, possibly tobacco. I always need tobacco on here. I don't need this stingray. A little bit too much charcoal. What else we got in here? Nope, can't fit charcoal anywhere. 
Uh, maggots and stuff. Painkillers. They're good for some things. I forget what they're good for um, in this game, but they give you food poisoning. This gets rid of food poisoning, but sometimes still not worth it. Don't need all these Goliath. I, uh, there's another stingray sting right there. Another mold. Which I'll probably... Craft. Let's use this campfire for an ash dressing. That ash is useful if I need more mud, but you know what? I don't think I'm gonna need more mud right now unless I expand on the home. Okay. Now we have everything but tobacco. I'm gonna go ahead and throw all these cans here. We'll get around to it. Just let them all throw out all the tuna cans. I'm gonna use up some of this charcoal to keep this going. That's kind of close. So yeah, that trap over there still hasn't sprung. Okay, all the charcoal's gone. Which, believe it or not, is, is what I wanted. I really wanted to... Uh, Deep my inventory a little bit. Alright, so anything close to expiration that I need to quickly eat? I don't need this on me right now. That's not a good place for it. Stupid piece of shit. Huh. Well, I'm actually glad I accidentally used it. Because now I know I need to replace that. No, not that one. This one. Alright, so what does it take to make a four prong? Long stick. Or two small sticks and rope. Or a long bamboo stick. Two small sticks and rope. We have that, don't we? And I do have plenty of these also. Oh. We want to use that in crafting. Let's get our two small sticks. Get our rope. And we got another four prong, which is my favorite weapon. If only I can attach metal to it. There may be a way. But I don't know how yet. Right, how's my uh, resource looking? I can use a little bit of everything. So let's see, what's the oldest food we got? It's one day in 18 hours, one day in 15, 14. I'm gonna eat that. I'm gonna eat both of these. We're gonna eat two of these. Well, still doing really well on food. I don't really need the larva with me, I don't think. I can put that away somewhere, but I'll keep it on me anyway. I don't need logic. How's this going? All right. And take the can. Put it in there. Whoop, right there. There's a mouse squeaking around here. And those traps go off. Nah, not yet. Always gotta be on the lookout for stuff. Alright, drink some water. 
Damn it, that happens more frequently than I'd like. I'm facing this one, but you better believe that it thinks I want the other one. Okay. Might as well take some ropes. Fill that up. Oh, we're already filled up. That started drying a little bit again. It's just going to be ruined when it rains soon. Um, everything is good. I'll put this iron away. All right, I mean, aside from the character needing to sleep a little bit, and I still never looked up what I said I was going to look up. Let's look up uh, the tree, the wood resin. Oh, it's for... Uh, that's for torches. That makes perfect sense, actually. Look up green, uh, the green hell recipes for metal now. my I had a mold in here right and I need uh, one of these let's see if this works I didn't really read it just now but I have a feeling that that's how I make the axe one okay Craft, uh, mold. Is that how I did it the first time? Empty mold plus X plus... What else did I use? I can't even remember anymore. I need to quit accidentally thrusting my spear. Um... I'm gonna look it up for real. Apparently I was wrong. A few things I can be making. I think uh, I can work my way up to metal arrows. Yeah, metal arrows. Um, I think there's armor in this game. Where's my metal? Let's take all this with me. I have an arrow on me. I don't know if I want to do the metal right now. I really want to do the axe. I think what I was missing with the axe was the uh, metal. Craft. Mold and metal. Oh yeah, that's what I needed. Okay. Let's throw... On the ground for a second. Just gonna put... Gonna collect things that we only make for molds. Alright, so I have axe mold. Did I use up? No, oh, good. I have one more mold, right? And with that, what do I wanna make? I already made the blade. Do I wanna make armor? Or. Do I have a stick on me? Armor would be really nice if that's actually in the game. I heard that with like a tortoise shell you can make armor, but then it, I never was able to, not with tortoise shell, yeah, armor mold. Axe, armor. I already made the uh, metal blade one. 
which I'll put away. That's almost ready. I might need more uh, charcoal. So the only thing I'm missing now is arrows then. Okay, that's the metal blade. I don't have any charcoal in there. Oh yeah, I have plenty of charcoal. Might as well take it all, because we know we're going to burn through it. I have candy bars I never used. How do I make a mold again? I think I just take a, a mud brick. I don't like that sound. I just put a, a mud brick in the forge to make a mold. I, I did it before, obviously, but I don't remember anymore. See if that's how this works. I don't think that's how this works. Let's put the axe mold in there, though. That's going to take a little while, but... Just actually... Do I just harvest? Oh, and he gives two empty molds. Okay. Put the axe in there. I have an empty. Oh, it gives me three empty. Wow, okay. I did not see that online. I was trying to find the answer, and I just the wiki is just not very clear for this game yet. All right. I really wish I could see. Uh, where am I? I'm just going to throw this mold over here. For now, look at a damn lizard. He exists just to taunt me. We'll get to that. Actually, I have, yeah, let's see, craft with metal and arrow. And let's see, does it make an arrow mold? Yes, it does. Woo. All right, so I have the arrow and I have the armor and I'm working on the, I'm working right now on the, uh, what is it, the axe? And I already have the uh, metal blade. That'll be neat. Of course, it'll take a little while. Not too bad, though. It doesn't take a l as long as the uh, actual cans do. Well, it leaves me one metal I don't need for now. I guess I don't need to be melting down the cans at the moment. Put that metal away. Uh, oh, I probably need more charcoal, don't I? I don't want that running out and screwing everything up. Look how close I am to running empty. I hear you squeaking, Mickey. You just give me some time. We'll take care of this rodent problem. Where you at? I know you're around me somewhere. Hey, look, it's raining again. See, that, that drying rack is never going to work out um, how it is. I'm going to have to rebuild it, probably, um, as not a bamboo one. Because bamboo ones only work out if they're undercover. I don't even think it fit in house. I'm pretty sure the bamboo one's useless. Maybe I just don't know how to do it. Alright, let's see. How close? 
this is it. Axe mold bait. And then I harvest it. Yep, and I get a metal axe cast. Awesome. It's exciting to me. Let's see what the armor's like. If there's armor in this game, like true armor, that'd be so nice. Like I was saying before, I have, and this thing sprung, I have read that with an armadillo shell and with a tortoise shell and stuff. Awesome. That you can have armor, but uh, I have not been able to make armor out of a tortoise shell, and I've never seen an armadillo shell in this game. I've killed plenty of armadillos. This trap is useful. I don't even see these things come this close to my base, but somehow they still do, and they trigger it. I approve. I don't even need the meat right now, but I approve. Wow. I think we started when it was nighttime. So we spent a whole day at work. Not doing a whole lot, just more or less maintaining things. I put, nope, once you, you can only put one thing in the stew. All this stuff only has about a day left on it, except for the egg. Ooh, but I can, nope, that's right, I cannot for some reason put stew in there. Only water, that's so weird. Yeah, well. I'm glad the molds don't take that long. We're already halfway through the armor one. So let's see, I have my metal one. That means I can use a stick and a rope. I have a metal axe. And I have no room for it, so we're gonna walk like a crab sideways for a moment. Uh 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 let me throw it on the ground so we can turn around. This is my workaround. Up. Oh, let me set it up there. Stone axe, metal axe. I don't really need the stone axe anymore. Oh, hi, Frag. I've done a poor job of saying hello. Um. Oh, wow, I got leeches on me, don't I? You, uh, you recommended this game to me, did you? Pretty sure it was you. Uh, when I was saying how, uh, in the hunt, uh, the hunter, I really wanted survival aspects. Yeah. You are directly responsible for me having spent money. But I'm enjoying it. Do you see how much I've done? Look at that. Look at that awesome little mud house. I'm living it up. I've uh I've I've suffered so much because of your suggestion. I've I've gotten lacerations, I've gotten parasites. Yeah, I did have it already on my wish list. But yeah, I've gotten par parasites, lacerations. I got killed by a caiman, I got killed by pumas. I uh I've got killed by tribesmen. Um I've had food poisoning. Um Yeah, it is a good game. I I've just about done everything there is in it to do um, in the past week. I'm very eager to uh, see it. its release in September when they add the full story mode. I'm going to be playing that on stream all the way through. Um. Oh, cool. You started streaming. Yeah, armor cast. Wait, to give me two armor cast? How does that work? I know nothing about armor. Let's do the arrow. F1. What's F1? That's not racing, huh? Did I let this burn? No, it looks burned. Oh, the racing one, okay. I um I don't play racing much, but every now and then I 
crave it. Every now and then I'm like, you know, I want to play a really good racing game. And I start looking at all of them on Steam and trying to decide which one I'm going to get. And um, then I find out that uh, they're full price and I don't know if I'm ready. Oh, I'm going to kill this lizard. Oh, I'm going to kill a lizard. He just taunts me. Um, and I'm not sure. I'm always like, am I, I'm in the mood for racing right now, but am I $60 in the mood? And um, I don't act right away and the mood kind of fades. And then uh, it happens all over again. I have a couple race games, though. I have, um, oh, man, I can't even tell you what it's called. Um, like, I was a big fan of uh, not really purely racing, but, you know, there's Mario Kart, of course. But I was a big fan of uh, Twisted Metal series. And I feel like there hasn't been a good Twisted Metal game in, in forever. And I got, uh, I can't even think of it on top of my head right now, but it's on Steam. And it's it's the closest, one of the closest you can get to Twisted Metal. And all this stuff. Not sure what to do with the armor mold. I don't even know how to pronounce that. King Kingian? Kingian? Is that uh I'm assuming that's racing then. Prawns. Almost useless. <laughs> they barely provide anything. Oh, no, I know what you're talking about now. The key selling site. Okay, got it. I've been there before. I've never purchased anything from them. They're not as shady as uh, uh, G2A, is it? Oh, okay, thanks. Thanks for stopping by. Um... Hope your uh, your work shift is good. Arrowhead cast. Okay. Huh. So let's see if I remember correctly. Arrows are usually it's just two small uh, it's one small stick and two feathers. Can I just use arrowhead also? Huh. I'm gonna have to figure this one out. Doubt it's three feathers. Plus one metal arrowhead. Plus a small stick. Nope. What about a big stick? Nope. Hmm. Looks like we looking more stuff up. Man, this wiki really doesn't provide a whole lot. I see nothing for how to do this. Look at the other ones, though. Mm, armor mold. 
Nope. What was this called? Metal Arrowhead. Let me look up specifically that. that it is honestly let's find out uh, basically it's what I did but with a rope gives me one metal arrow my character is about to pass out on the floor yep we're gonna sleep real quick I cut that pretty close Oh wow, my sanity flashed red. I don't know what that means. Oh, I got a comfortable sleep, okay. Why is this yellow? That scares me. Let's drink it. Maybe that's normal, but I'm so used to uh, seeing it with the fire on. What am I hearing? I haven't saved in a long time. Is that try people outside my house or something? What am I hearing? It almost sounded like I was hearing someone shoot a bow. I see nothing now. Sometimes the traps make noise, though. But none of these traps sprung. Let's see about the fish ones. Nope. That one over there didn't spring. Ooh, look at that fish right there. They good? You know what? They good? <laughs> it's a little more difficult to achieve things when you have a full inventory. You're just going on the ground for a little bit. Now I can harvest. I couldn't harvest when I was in the water. That's so bizarre. Is there another mouse around me? Drying rack is full. My fire is out. All my efforts to keep my fire intact. This. Oh. Ground. Charcoal. I don't approve of this mouse making noise. Most of the time I kill them, it's just because they're noisy. There it is over there. Come by this trap. Huh. Really? Yeah, laugh it up. Laugh it up. Alright, so... I'm not sure if going through all the trouble of a mold and everything is worth it. <laughs> you get two arrows per mold. I just, I don't know if that's worth it to me. I mean, yes, an uh, arrow can be, uh, can be retrieved. Uh, if you can find it. Two arrows for a mold. What about the armor? What is the armor all about? Let me look that up. Really a part of me inside that kind of cringes at the fact that I have to look things up in this game. Or any game. 
I like to discover things, but I don't think I would have discovered all this on my own. The banana leaf for armor. I would have never, ever figured that out. Get this, right? You need a banana leaf plus the metal cast plus a rope. Oh, wait. To make armor, you need three metal armor casts. It says. Well, shit, that's not happening. Not right now. I only have two. It only made me two. So now I need to make another uh, armor mold again. What was that? That was a stick? And a rope? No, metal, sorry. Craft, empty mold, and a stick, I think. Apparently I'm lighting fires again. Armor mold, yep. So you need... Uh, why do I have bones on me? That's so bizarre. An armor mold gives you two, but you need three to craft armor. So I'm going to end up with four. They really didn't think this through, did they? Let's see. Let's light some fires. Come on! Yes! I didn't think this one through. That's unfortunate. All right, charcoal. You gotta fill it up before no. it even lets you light it. I did not know that. I probably knew that once upon a time. Did I use all that? So I guess I'll use fiber. Nest or whatever it is. Yes! Yes! There go. That'll do its thing. What about food? That's where I got the bones from the fish, huh? It's all about to expire. So good. It's gonna start eating everything. I don't really need the bananas right now, but. What's that looking like? Yeah, I do need to be honest right now. Also need to cook that, so I guess I do need to start another fire in there too. I get to use all my sticks. Good. I got a leech or something on me, but it's going to hold up for a moment. Come on. Come on. Yes. All right. Now we're back to this. Let's do some cooking. Get off me. Just the one leech. The sole leech. Thought he was a badass. Alright, let's see. Where's Mo? Let up. On the ground. I don't need another bandage, do I? Nah, we're good with that. I need more honey and more, uh... Tobacco plants. That'd be nice. This ash can go over here. Go in the pile. Ok. 
Okay. You can cook, you can cook. I don't like this one being far from his friends. Alright. Oh, wow, I have extra. I don't need that extra one. Let's go see what the armor cast is looking like. Yeah, you little bastard. Almost done. So while we're waiting on that, only a second. What else do I need to make? I really need to make the blade, the metal blade, just because I have it. I think it's a metal spear or a pickaxe. I'm going to use a pickaxe, though. I don't really get, go get metal very often, especially since I can use... Uh, put that in there. Um, since I can use other means for metal. Okay, now I got the armor. What was it? It was this plus three of these. Plus two ropes. Yep, I would have never guessed that. Never. It's not intuitive at all. 45% durability. It's not even very durable. How do I wear it? Do I gotta look at myself or something? Hide armor? Can I put armor on? Am I wearing armor? I'm confused. Or wait a minute. Is it what I think it is? Oh, that's crazy. I gotta put it I gotta make four <laughs> oh man, I gotta make I gotta make three more. This is gonna be the strongest left arm ever. It's like the Terminator now. Wow. And it's only got forty five percent durability. How do I even make that more durable? You can't craft after you it's always gonna be that. See, I don't know if that's worth it either. I guess that protects against leeches. I'll tell you what, we're not doing any more. We're not making three more right now. Throwing this, uh, no, we'll keep the metal cast tucked away. Do I have a long, long stick? A log. Do I have a long stick? Take one. Alright, Bob. Craft. Uh, uh, where's the, is that the metal? Nope. Where's the metal? The very awkward. Oh man, my dumbass. It's in here. You know, the place I was looking at a moment ago. Ooh, my food's on here. I do look kind of badass though when I reach for things and you just see this leaf farmer. Craft plus you plus uh, rope, right? Metal spear. I don't need it, but yeah. All right. I spent a lot of time at my uh, base, haven't I? It's about time to go out soon. Uh, really? Did I just hurt? Wait, did that count as like stepping on my spear? Is that what happened just now? Oh, that's so dumb. That is so stupid. Let's just use the damn honey one. That was so ridiculous. I put the spear in the ground and I started taking damage because I'm standing near it. I wasn't on it. Alright. Um, I have another metal arrow cast. Go ahead. Just these two. Plus the arrowhead. This time it needs a rope, whereas last time it did not. Ah, all that, and I didn't get the damn small stick. Alright. Ah, this is 
is exhausting. Two. Plus you, just to get you out of my inventory. Plus the rope. Good. Metal arrow. So now I got three metal arrows after all that work. Fish bones can move on up. To the west side. Um, we got some bananas over there. It might be more beneficial for me to put the, uh, can I take the armor off after I, yeah, good. Might be more beneficial to put it on one of my legs. I don't get to see it as often, but that's fine. What's my uh, resources look like? A little bit of water, a little bit of carbs. I just got the bananas, so that should work. This meat should be expiring soon, 14 hours. Uh, I can wait a little bit. I don't have anything else to cook right now. That's what did I hit myself on? Did I pass this again? What happened? My character's being a bit of a pansy now. That's almost done. Where's that damn mouse at? I know he's around somewhere. Being a mouse and stuff. Alright, let's wait for this. I'm a... There we go. That in there. We're about to go exploring. Let me just uh, put this metal away. And then, do I have anything else in my inventory I don't need right now? Yeah, we're gonna sleep a little bit. Just a little bit because it's so close to night. We don't want it to be night when I go exploring. That happens too often. Even though it's not terribly dangerous for me, it's just hard to see and it's just not a good viewing experience. Save it. Uh, what's my food and stuff look like? A little bit of meat, a little bit of water. Maybe a banana. This meat's about to expire. Let's eat it all. Okay. Drink some water. Might as well drink on the, the good one. <clears throat> if I had some fats, do I? Nope. This will serve as fats. Yep, we're filled up. That means we're saving again. Alright, so there's no reason for me to stay right here right now. Let's go see if we can... Uh, I don't know, let's explore a bit. I don't go this way very often. We're going to let this this turtle be spared. And those snails. We don't need them right now. They're caiming around here. I guess I could take a metal spear with me. But that... What am I carrying with me? Yeah, we're, we don't. We're, we're going to... We're going to switch from the travel spear. To the spear that cut my leg open. It's already bathed in blood, so it's ready to go. Alright, so tribal spear. Get this metal spear that I made. Mm, I don't think I need the torch. Metal axe instead of a torch. Yeah, it's nighttime. Yeah, we can't see that very off well, very much. Well now I'm learning uh, notebook entries. So we're saving again. Because that's how I roll. Something new happens, better save. Alright. Even though I got a few metal tools now, I'm still using the four prong because I just favor it. Alright, let's go see if... Uh, let's go see what kills us first. I'm betting it's the Cayman or Puma. Could be some tribes people though. 
They're out and about sometimes. Get me some rope. Alright. I don't really know. What was that? Food, right? Yeah. Um, I don't really know the area too terribly well. This area. I know there's the bamboo bridge, of course. Wait a second. What am I hearing? Oh, came in. An armadillo. Let's see if I can get him in one hit. Yeah. I knew I heard something. Whew. Badass chasing me around. They're slow on land. Well, now I gotta go back to my damn base. Because this meat weighs too much. And I don't want to go to waste. Knew something was around me. You know, it really threw me for a loop. Thought I saw a frog. I don't need him, but yeah, I did see a frog. Okay. While moving that fast, still managed to see a frog. What would really throw me for a loop, though, is if there was a second caiman. Because here I am thinking there's only one spawn. And there probably is only one spawn. Because I've never seen another one after I killed one. Ah, oh, That went out the moment I got here. That's disappointing. That's very disappointing. But yeah, if I encountered a uh, a second caiman, it would kill me because I would not be expecting it at all. Ah, more small sticks. Probably more of these. The frog followed me all the way here. Ah, uh, way too much. Yeah, no, I guess there's a damn leech on me. And now he's not on my foot. Because I got armor on. Alright. This always makes me want to watch uh, some good survival shows. What was that? You can't be in my house. Look at that. He wasn't even invited. That's a dick move right there. You don't just go in some place residence without asking him first. There's so much crap piled up here, I don't even know if I can get in that storage. Come on. Can I just throw you in there? Nope, you guys don't even... I can, but... Can I get in here now? Yeah, I kind of can. I need to put some dry leaves on me. You never know when you have to start a fire. Uh, out in the wild. Why does it gotta feel? It has to feel obligated to stack food items even if one's cooked and one isn't. What's up with that? Oh man, that mouse is asking for it. You have no idea. Where you at? Why not? I'm cooking anyway. Yeah, you shut up now, didn't you? And he does a few squeaks just to let me know that he's still there. Where you at? I don't see him moving anywhere. I 
Oh, you're in there. I don't know why I didn't notice that. Well, we're going to harvest you just because. On the other hand, I am not going to harvest this spider. He's going to destroy it because I don't need him. Lower sanity and uh, I don't need the Goliath Ash because I have too many of those already. Mouse meat, we got cane toad meat. And we have lots of meat, don't we? Oh look. These things both caught stuff. Piranha, piranha, piranha. Now I have a reason to have this larva. A stick. Remember the time I was saying I was gonna leave him base because I've been here too long? Then it came and had to mess with me. Now I'm back because I had to cook. Good times. Let's let's tear apart all these fish. I'm gonna have way too much meat. My character doesn't need that much. But you know, meat gives energy in this game. Not all foods give you a lot of energy. On a meat. We have that one more to cook. I guess I'm a carnivore now. <laughs> Besides this egg, and even that can be considered. I don't know what's in a can. It looks like it's mostly proteins, though. It's probably like a beef stew. Man. Oh, gosh. What is it about this area? That hurts me. It's not my weapon rack either. It's like the how. See? Am I getting burned by the fire? That's what's happening. I'm getting burned by the fire through the wall. That's crazy. Oh wow, this thing ran out of uh, charcoal, didn't it? Now it needs to be lit again now. He's getting sick of lighting fires. Yes. Yes. Might as well finish up. I really need to start feeding this shit. It takes so much wood though to make charcoal. It makes a lot of charcoal and ash though, but just so much. I wonder if I could throw b a bamboo sticks in there. Maybe can. All I really need is water. I have some bananas over there. Nope. A little bit more water. Maybe I'll eat one of these meats just because I know they got to be expiring soon. Oh, that needs to be cooked. One day. It's one day. One day. These are ours. Let's eat that too, just because it offends me with how small it is. Just has to be another mouse. Look, your stupid ass. Let's go over here. Just out of curiosity, come with me. Can you go in there? Can you go in here? None of you takes this as fuel. That's a damn shame. I have a lot of those. Melt the can. Might as well throw that in there. Let's use up most of the charcoal. I don't want more mice. Look at that. That's not what I expected I would have. Alright, well, 
We're going on exploring again. We've been here too long. I'm going to do a little bit of exploring. It's still going to be a short stream tonight. Um, we're going back in this direction. Maybe another caiman or something spawned. And makes me all like... You know, if another caiman spawns, I'm not even looting the meat. I'm not even harvesting it. We don't need that. It's a puma. I'm probably going to die. The ropes. I don't know. Let's see what's off in this direction. Last time I went off in this direction, I found some tribes people sitting around. Singing to each other. I don't want the feather, really. Don't want you. Don't need you. What did I just hear? Yeah, it's the weather plus an oinking pig. Nope, that's a puma. Oh my gosh. I don't have enough stuff on me. Fuck. Now I gotta go hunting to get my stuff back. I'm gonna die before I manage to do this, aren't I? Yep. Good thing we just saved, huh? I told you if I found a puma, I was gonna die. <laughs> I can just not, I cannot react to a puma fast enough. I knew he was there, but because he was in a bush, I couldn't risk shooting, uh, throwing at him right away. I had to see him first. I guess I could have thrown in there, but with this game, you never know. It's like the bush may deflect a damn spear. Um, <clears throat> unless I find something really interesting, I'm probably only going to stream for another 20 minutes or so. This is the worst thing about dying, is the, the loading. On a solid state drive, it still takes this long. I think the last game I had this experience with, where I felt like it was a loading simulator, is uh, Ark. As much as I love Ark, I think it's the most played game I have. It's just crazy how much loading I had to do. My computer's kind of old, so I guess I can't complain. Stick just fell. Hi, turtle. I hope that puma's there again. When you load stuff in, it just it ju just drops in front of you. Let's go explore this area again. There's always either a caiman or a puma. And if I kill the caiman, then there's a puma around. Or jaguar, whatever they call them. They're all the same, I think. Or this game. This game calls them a puma and jaguar, but when they voice act it, they say uh, it's a jaguar. So, I guess that's a way to say it. Jaguar. He's not going to be there again because of... Wait. Did I hear him? I was about to say he's not going to be there again because this game loads on the fly. But I might have heard something. Can't tell. Right, that's a cave. This is a uh, way up. What's this cave? Is this the bridge cave? Or is this a different one? Oh, this is different. This must be where the, uh, the Puma drags. Well, I guess me after it kills me. Hmm. We haven't been there before. I 
I need to get some sticks and stuff while I'm out. Always seem to be low on that. What's up here? Anything want to kill me? I feel like uh, I don't even get mad when I die. I feel like uh, any time I play this game for a night and I don't die, that I miss something. I didn't accomplish enough. Yeah, I don't need you guys right now. But I will take some bananas. Yeah, I'm good on most things. Let's see, what's this way? I have no goal in mind right now. I'm just aimlessly exploring. Now this would be a good place to fight the damn puma. Though in my uh, my experience, they find a way up. The tribes people don't. The tribes people hit you right through the rock, though. And I'm finding stuff. Part of the reason why it was hard for me to uh, kill anything was that way over there. Oh, it's just one nose. Is uh, I didn't quite know what uh, what numbers I assigned my weapons and stuff to. That was a failing on my part. I don't need this in my inventory. It screws up my inventory. Look at this. Every time I have to reload the game, everything gets screwed up. Like it's ordering. It's not very persistent. Yeah. One time the Puma stalked me uh, a fairly good length. Because I didn't know. It was the very first time I ever heard the growl. And I thought, what is that? Is something around? The last time I was wondering if it was the puma or thunder, it was the puma. Is that him right there? I think we're probably about to die again. I saw some move, but now but I don't see it anymore. Oh my god, I got leeches on me. See how paranoid you get in the middle of Amazon? I don't know if anything's even around at all. I guess it'll kill me while I'm taking leeches off. Where the hell are the leeches at? Don't tell me leeches can get on the armor one. I can't even see it. That's ridiculous. What's the purpose of even having the armor then? Okay, at least you're not the puma. I mean, the armor doesn't make me li live longer when I'm being attacked, I don't think. Oh gosh, I'm weighed down by sticks. All right, let's, what's the oldest food? All right, that's good. I think, I think there is a puma in here somewhere. I just don't know where it is. I don't think I'm imagining the sound. Unless those things make sounds to each other. Hmm. Can I jump up there? Probably not.
They did real good with the sounds, though, in this game. I think any survival game, even if it's not horror, needs to have good sound design. Kind of looking for cave systems and stuff. Really anything of interest. I just haven't explored. Oh, hi. Oh my gosh. And bow is so hard to aim with sometimes. What? Where's the other one? Where is he? I don't even see the other one. I just gotta keep moving. Oh my gosh. Where's he fucking at? Bitch. Can't hit him over there for some reason. Well, that one died over there. That one too. If you shoot him, which is actually a good lesson for me right now. Um, I hope there was only two. Otherwise, I'm going to get hurt soon. If you shoot them, then they will often die after some time. Oh, hi, Fort King. Sorry. I didn't see you right away because I was trying desperately not to die. Um, yeah, there's not a lot of people streaming this game. I think it's because it's early access. Um, usually late at night, like when I'm not streaming, I'll see like two people streaming and I'll I'll check out their streams. Um, let's see what these guys have. I don't need their bow. Yeah, there'll be a couple people usually streaming late at night and um, I just like to check out how they're doing in comparison to me, you know? Or, you know, because I'll make a lot of dumb mistakes sometimes and I'll be curious, uh, or, you know, are they doing the same thing? Man, where are their arrows at? I want their arrows. Oh, it's a pretty cool game. It's It's early access, so it still has a ways to go. But uh, what they have for it now is pretty awesome. If you like survival games, um, which I'm guessing you do if she gifted it to you. It, um, I can't tell if I just heard something or not. It, uh, it tries so much to kill you. <laughs> Oh yeah, well, this is basically how the game rolls. Um, it's releasing in September, the full release, and it'll have a story mode. Uh-oh. See that spider right there? Your first lesson. That thing will kill you. <laughs> um, you heard the little chittering sound. That This game is pretty good about having certain sound effects that you have to pay attention to. For instance, you'll hear a rattle. You know a rattlesnake is nearby. You uh, you hear that chittering sound. That's the best way I could describe it, I guess. And you know one of those... Um, is that a, I, I never really missed... Is that an armadillo? Is that an anteater? No, that's a... Oh my gosh. That's, I just ran through ants. That's why you saw me get a rash. I want my spear back. He's gonna, he's gonna get me killed. I might have to just make another spear because I don't know where he ran. I 
I'm guessing you've played uh, Seven Days to Die then. Is it called Seven Days to Die? I think so. Where's my rash? Uh-oh. I don't have anything for it, do I? Well, crap. Your most played game? I figured so. When you said you like survival and zombies, that's the, uh, the natural uh, game pop in my head for that. Man, that armadillo. I don't know why I threw my spear at it. I'll just make another spear at some point. Um, besides what I already have. I also need to find plants. But yeah, the game's released in September. It's going to have a story mode attached. Right now it doesn't. It has a very short tutorial that introduces like the beginning of a story. Um, oh yeah, I love the forest. I love uh, Stranded Deep. I haven't played too much of DayZ though, but I've watched a lot of it. Um, everything in this game will try to murder rate you. I don't remember what plant this is. Tobacco leaf. That's good. That's good for stings. I need... I need yellow flowers. Uh, there's a cave. I don't even know what the cave this is. Oh, I know what this is. This leads to the, uh, the other part of the map. Um, yeah, you're in an Amazon jungle, and there's tribes people here that really don't want you here. And, uh, you're trying to build without dying from them, and, uh, you can get parasites and food poisoning and rashes and... Um, lacerations and you can just outright die and you'll have the tribes people killing you the caimans, the pumas you have to kill lizards like this and uh, frogs and birds um, you have to harvest bananas there's no zombies in it but you can pretend the tribes people are zombies need this expiring soon Fruit. Oh, everything's kind of unknown at first. It takes a little time for you to get to know what you can eat and what you can't. Some things will all right poison you. I don't even need to be eating that much. I just don't feel like having that much food on me. I have too much weight at this point. Um, you'll encounter like, coconuts. You can split open. You can turn it in. I don't want to throw my... Press the wrong button. You can turn it into, um, well, you can drink from it, but you can also turn it into a bowl if you needed to um, and set that bowl out under the rain and um, you'll gather water that way. Um, a lot of intuitive stuff. Not everything's intuitive, but there's a crab. Um, I would love for the developers to make it like this says unknown mushroom but I've already eaten it before I've already tried it for different things I would really like them to identify it once you've tried it uh, I'm going back to my home base you'll get to see what that looks like uh, actually uh, like I told you to it releases September with um, their next goal being story mode which should come out at the same time Right after they release and do story mode, their very next thing on their roadmap is co-op. Co so, yes, it should be um, cooperative. I don't know what their timeline is for that. Um, this should give you a little peek at what's possible, at least. Um, this is my weapon rack. Um, this is where I make mud bricks. I have a fishing trap. I have a prawn trap. Bye, prawn. Don't need you right now. I have a uh, fishing line trap or whatever that fishes for me, but I can also fish. Yeah, you can fish. I have a... Uh, I haven't done much fishing yet. My fishing pole's on here. But you can see my fishing pole right there, fishing rod. So, um... 
that was added and i think the last patch they added swimming and fishing and fish traps um i have stands f to hold my supplies like this holds my sticks and stuff that you use for building and crafting um i have uh I have leeches on me as you can see man look how many leeches are on me it's like a feast a buffet as you can see um you actually have to look at yourself when you're harmed and figure out where you're harmed you have to like look at all your limbs and stuff so that's pretty neat um uh, this snake was already here as part of the island I found. Um, this is a drying rack, so you can dry your food and it lasts a lot longer. Or in my case, I can accidentally throw everything on the ground because I have no space. Eat some bananas. Wow, I didn't realize this much stuff had successfully dried. Um, so I have abundance of food. For most of the game, you won't have this. For most of the game, it'll be a struggle to survive. Then you reach a point when it's, it's, uh, yeah, she did. It's a great game, great investment. You reach this point, though, where you're, um, you're pretty successful at surviving. You can still die. Like, I mean, I can have all this, but be in the wrong place at the wrong time and get bit by a rattlesnake and just not be prepared. If I don't have the proper bandages and I can't find the proper herb, I can still die um, pretty easily. I died from a, a puma a little while ago. No, it's not It's not permadeath. I think... No, I don't think there's a permadeath mode right now. You just... Uh, if you die, you just... It just loads whatever your last save is. I mean, you lose whatever you, um, you've done since the last save. And you can only save at uh, certain structures and stuff you build. I have mouse tra I have traps. This one caught a mouse. I got an arm it again. This one caught a mouse too. There's a lot of mice around here. Um, this game does have a challenge mode too. Uh, independent, because there's a story mode coming. What I'm playing now is called the survivor uh, survival mode. Um, this is my little water gathering and stuff. Um, I also have a shower <laughs> if I need to clean off. Um, and a few other things. Yeah, survival mode. There's going, there's a challenge mode right now where you, I haven't played it, so I don't know the specifics, but I think it gives you certain objectives you have to complete, possibly in, under a certain time. Um, and they keep adding new challenges rip apart this mouse oh wow my fire's still going let's see I got some mouse meat to cook this is the inside of my mud shelter I have um it's getting dark of course but I have um some storage chest. I also just throw stuff on the ground. Everything persists. If you throw something on the ground, it doesn't despawn. So you can throw it anywhere and find it later. Like I have um, coconut shells laying all over the map for certain instances of where I'm running around, I can drink water from them. <laughs> um, this is my bed because you do have to sleep, otherwise, you, um, I, mean, I guess you can constantly eat and get energy. Um, you can cook and make stews. Um, it's a fairly big map. No, you can ask as many questions as you want. Um, it's a fairly big map. Uh, running from one end to another probably takes 20, 30 minutes. I, I don't know. Part of it seems slow because you have to be careful. I suppose if there were no dangers I was worried about, that I could probably um, just aimlessly run. It would be a lot shorter of a trek. Um, I streamed on Monday. I streamed this game. And uh, you can see it under my videos or you can see it on my YouTube. And I did a whole tour of the island. Like, I literally, I showed off all of this. And then I ran to all the significant places on the map. Like, all the... Because you can come across a uh, plane crash and... A few other, um, well, it's spoiled meat. 
uh, come across some uh, nice places, old camps and stuff. So, I mean, it might be a spoiler. You may not want to see all of it if you haven't played it all yet and you want to be surprised by things because it's, it's a good feeling to be running through the jungle lost with, like, tribesmen chasing you and you, you just had to recover from a snake bite and suddenly you come across this abandoned camp and it's like, oh, wow, you know. So you may not want to watch it all, but that if you do watch any of it, it gives you a good, um, a good idea of how uh, everything is. I have way too much food. And that's something really odd to say <laughs> in this game. I have too much food. Let's pick the leaves. What happens if I harvest it? Just get fiber. I don't want that. That was a waste. Okay. I really need to sleep just to make some time pass so it's daytime. I'm going to run around a little bit so you get to see um, what the map looks like. You probably get to see me die a time or two. It does have weather. Um, it rains. Uh, in the beginning of the game, it rains a ton. And uh, it's dry for a while also. So that's, a, that's also risky in that uh, you don't have any good sources of water when it's dry. You can't just drink from this, you know, you'll get food poisoning. I guess if you're willing to take that. Oh, look at that. I'm going to leave him. I'm not going to harvest him right now. Uh, one of the problems I always face is when I'm leaving my base, I always forget which way to go. See what I'm doing right now, running around like this at full speed? Probably not a good idea. Um... I happen to know that this part of the map doesn't have rattlesnakes for me to worry about. But it could be, there could be other things. There could be spiders, there could be scorpions. Um, so in general, you want to take it kind of slow and steady, though, and you want to look real well. And it's, it's dawn, so I don't have a whole lot of light yet, so it's also dangerous that I can't see as well. Plus, I get lost so much. Ah, crap. That little fall right there hurt me a little bit. You gotta watch out for leeches a lot. Um, I'm looking for a cave, but I forget where it's at. Some of these plants can be gathered for stuff. Um, and they're useful. This is what I really want. This plant right here. Yellow flowers. This is how I gather. <laughs> These leaves can be turned into bandages. Also, what I'm doing right now is dangerous and not recommended. Standing still to craft for too long, something can sneak up and bite me on my ass. And it happens. There are caimans in this area. And, uh, they can kill you in one bite. Okay. Like I said, it's early access, and they have a lot of work they still plan on doing. I can definitely envision them making it a lot more dangerous than it is now. Ooh, cool. Go eat some. I, uh, you start with nothing. <laughs> There's a short tutorial you do, and even if you go through it, which I do recommend you do, once it ends, it basically says, this is the end of the current tutorial. Do you want to continue with survival? When you say yes, you start with nothing. Um, yeah. I think you start off pretty topped off of, for food and stuff, but um, other than that, you need, it's kind of like Ark, you know, if you ever played Ark, 
you start off basically um, just sitting there on wherever you're at. I think you're near a certain part of the woods or something. And uh, your first thing you want to do is uh, find water source somewhere. Just like if you were surviving out in the real wild, you know? Like, you need to find a water source of some kind. What is this? So that you can discover uh, a good place to set up a camp. Because, I mean, you can build a shelter just throughout anywhere, but if you don't have reliable resources, um, it becomes harder. This is probably going to kill me. Let's find out. Ah. Nope. You can swim now. But there are piranhas, and there are um, stingrays, and... Oh my gosh, that scared the crap out of me. I don't know where I'm going. I've never been in here before. Whew. And everything that harms you in this game has to be treated. You know, if something venomous bites you, you have to take care of that right away. Right, right away. Lacerations are a major cause for concern. Um, you will bleed to death pretty quickly. I don't even know. Can I swim down? I don't have enough oxygen for this, do I? Is this just a... I don't know. I've never... Um, I've never suffocated before. Do I just start taking health damage? Oh wow, the health dropped fast. Um, what is this? Is this if I just wanted to jump down? You also have a sanity meter. If you look at the bottom left and you see like the head icon, that's actually a meter that circle starts to um, uh, go darker, I think. And that's your sanity. And um, if you start to go insane, you will hear voices and stuff, almost like you're schizophrenic. You'll hear voices telling you you're not going to survive in the woods, you're going to die. And it's creepy, especially it happened to me. My first time streaming this, it happened to me. I, I kind of intentionally did it, caused it. Um, I lowered my sanity. And um, it made me, it was pitch black. I had no torch or anything because I had just started the game not too long ago. And I was standing in the middle of a very dangerous area, and I didn't know where to go, and I didn't know what to do yet. And uh, my sanity was completely down, and I just started hearing voices, and it's so creepy. And um, things, I don't know if they're just things you're are hallucinating or what, but I started seeing things, and I died. Like, the things attack you. If you ever played Don't Starve... Ooh, I'm on the other side of the map. Cool. If you ever played Don't Starve, you know how you go insane in that game and like uh, shadowy figures will appear and you can actually be attacked by them and actually die? It was like that. Hmm. Not very often that you're in the Amazon and you have too much food. Please take a boss space. You do have to balance all your uh, nutrients. You have um, <laughs> your Santa. Sandy's regularly questioned. Playing this game, um, there's a rattlesnake right here. Gotta watch out for them. They don't actually move. They stay put, but they'll pivot, and they can attack you from a good distance. They don't actually slither around. I don't know if that's going to be added later. Those two mice were having a meeting. Um, yeah, this game will mess with your sanity. With how brutal it can be. If I can figure out how to get down there. Um, that right there, that mound... It's basically an ant nest. If I get too close, it will uh, cause a rash on me. Like, I'll get bit. There's also wasp nest. You have to watch out for um, high.
hives and stuff. Oh, it's definitely a beautiful game. And you're looking at it right now on medium settings because my computer's really old. And I might be able to get by with um with more than medium settings if I wasn't streaming at the same time on the same computer. I'm finding so much food, it's crazy. I don't even need this much food. That over there. But it's a very gorgeous game. I don't even know what engine they use. I don't know why I haven't looked into that. I know Ark uses Unreal. Still have no space in my backpack? Now I do. Well... It takes a pretty realistic approach where you kind of learn counters by trying shit and dying or coming close to dying. As you discover things in the game, you have this notebook, right? Hmm. Wait, let me try to... There we go. You have this notebook, right? And it keeps track of everything you discover. So this is basically what you get. The plant with the yellow flowers... Its effects when eaten are, because I haven't eaten it yet, if you craft, it gives you a basic dressing, and if you stew it, what happens? And as you learn, it fills this stuff in. And I haven't done everything. Water lily treats food poisoning. What happens uh, as a bandage? Not available, because it can't be turned into a bandage. This one can't be stewed. What happens if it's stewed? You know, I haven't actually tried a water lily stewed. See, I need to go through this notebook and actually try to fill in all this. This herb... Don't know what its name is, but it has anti-venom properties. If eaten, it's an antitoxin and antihistamine if turned into a bandage. So that's, as you try things, like tobacco plant. I've never eaten it before, so I don't know what it does. But as a bandage, it's anti-venom. So that's kind of what you learn what the counters are by just trying things. Um, which is, I guess, what you'd have to do in real life. You'd have to try not to die, you know? Like, um, mushrooms, of course, are always a concern. And just as you know in real life, a mushroom can be edible or not, and there's almost nothing to tell you the difference between the two. Oh shit. You're gonna watch me die in a moment. Maybe. Oh come on, Bo. Is he stuck? That is a, uh, a jaguar, a puma. I don't know why he's not coming at me. Is he stuck in a tree? Man, how am I missing? See, you can be dead on accurate, but if you have no skill yet in it... Did I just use uh, every single one of my arrows? Alright. I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. He's dead. Woo! And you can get your arrows back, by the way. I probably shot arrows in him after he died, you know that? <laughs> when I was like, why is he coming after me? Apparently, what I think happened there is um, my spear probably killed him in one shot, which is a very lucky shot. Um, I didn't know I, I succeeded in that, though. And then I shot arrows in his corpse because I'm... I'm, uh... I guess that's how I roll. Yeah. You know, you gotta, you gotta double tap and then you gotta triple tap and then... Why not quadruple tap while you're at it? I feel like I'm missing a whole bunch of arrows. I probably shot them all over the place. That's fine, though. I can always make more. I honestly thought I was going to die. Because uh, I have bad luck with, with jaguars. They, they almost always take me out. Maggots! Stones and stuff. I don't know where I'm at, by the way. I have, a, I have the map semi-memorized. Yeah, maggots can be used as a lure. Um, in traps and fishing. Same with larva. Uh, maggots can also be used for lacerations to suck out the uh, the infection, I think. 
There's larva. I like how realistic they get, you know? Yeah, you're right. Yep, maggots used for old... Yep, that's what it is. I have gotten an infection in this game, and I have used a uh, bandage. Am I hearing shit again? I used a bandage to treat it that was um, made for that, and so I never got to try the maggot thing, but I know it's in the game. I know they plan to add a lot of real survival stuff, and that's exciting to me. Ah, I got more leeches on me. I'm wearing this armor. I didn't make armor for my whole body. I only made one piece of armor. But I didn't think they'd get under the armor, but I guess they do. Armadillo. I love the sound they make. See that right there? That's a plane crash. Now I know where I'm at. That's what I was saying before, is I got this, the map semi-memorized, but uh, every now and then, I uh, I turn around so many times, I don't know where I am anymore. That is a plane crash. You come across really cool stuff like that. I know, it was like a Jawa. To hop with coconut bowls all around the place. So when I get to a new base, or, well, I set up this stuff before. When I get to a place, I can uh, drink and everything from it. I'm good to go. Ooh, that one's about to expire. I better eat it. Mm, I always have to watch for expirations for stuff. This is a little um, framework I built. This is how the crafting works in this game. Um, like your first tab is just some survival things, like how to make, how to use rope and stuff like that. This shows all the herbs and everything. This shows other ways of healing things, treating things, and the abrasions, stuff like that. This is your skills. So I have 90 out of 100 axes. What am I hearing? Is that thunder? I'm going to save before I continue explaining. Um, and you have your mud structures, you have your frames and stuff. So if I want to place a bamboo frame, so you can build your own kind of place, you know, you then have to go gather supplies like this would take four, four bamboo logs and, uh, three long bamboo sticks plus rope to tie it all together. Um, there's frames, walls, doorways, roof. Um, there's no flooring. I don't know why there's no flooring. You got different fire levels. You got stone rings. You got grills and dryers and smokers and um, water collectors and filters and stuff. Um, traps of different kind, like I was saying before. And uh, shelters, that beds and everything. I feel like there's not a ton in the game right now. Uh, lizards. There's probably probably as much stuff as is in the forest, you know? There's no in-game map. You gotta either look up a map online or you have to memorize it all. After a while, you know, landmarks and everything. Um... I didn't even need him. I just don't like how they run away so fast. He got what he deserved. There's a lot to learn in the game. Um, I've been playing this about 40 hours or so, and I learned the other day that you can throw rocks. Didn't even know it. Whoa. Hi, Rattlesnake. That was almost a disaster. What do I need? The fats. Let's see. We'll eat that. It's close. I'm gonna throw the puma meat on the ground because I don't need that. that. 
At this point, I'm just eating things because it's close to its expiration. If you, um, another rattlesnake. Ooh, I got really close to him. If you eat things that are raw, you can get food poisoning. If you eat certain things, like human meat, for instance, from the tribesmen, it'll mess with your sanity. Um, you can subsist off of it. You can survive just fine, but... You'll have to do something that... Oh my... Uh. Alright, so this is what happens when you get spit by a snake. <laughs> Let's see. Do I even have the proper stuff? I probably do. I'm sure he bit me. He bit me in... He bit me on the unarmored one, of course. Oops. So you got the wound. I have a bandage ready for this. It's not that one. Huh. So here's the thing. Remember when I said I had the bandits ready for it? I lied. Uh, this is one of those instances where I'm against the timer. I have to find a very specific plant that I don't know whether or not it exists around me. And uh, I have to create a bandage and everything. This might be it. And I have to do it all before dying. Oh, that's just called unknown herb. I do not know if that's it. I do not think that's it. Lily dressing. What does a lily dressing do? Let's see. Can I put a lily dressing on this? No, I cannot. That is not the right herb. Poo. So what's going to happen here probably is I'm going to develop a fever and stuff. Maybe even die. If I don't find the right herb. I'm pretty sure it's purple, just like that one was. But it looks a little different. And while I'm panicking and running around trying to find the right herb, I'm putting myself more at risk, of course, because I could be running over another rattlesnake or running headline... Uh, directly into a uh, a tribe camp or a uh, another puma plus I uh, what is this plus I, I lose track of where I am because I'm looking everywhere that's what I need tobacco dressing my health is about half or so all right, tobacco dressing, boom. And we're good, we're saved. But I could have easily ran around for 20 minutes and not found that. So now I'm still at the risk of uh, infection and, and fever because it took a while for me to get that done. I'm going to go ahead and eat some stuff just to help raise my spirits a bit. We're going to eat a little bit of everything. Yeah, I'm still at great. I could still potentially die right now. Plus, I've went ahead and lost the track of where I am now. What's this way? Now I need to find a landmark, basically. Because I've been around the map quite a bit. If I find a proper landmark, I can f catch my bearings again, you know. Huh. Can I walk up this? This is pretty... Huh. Nope. That could have hurt me. Ooh, jeep tracks. That means very little to me. There's a jeep you can find in this game. Not that you can drive, but a turned over jeep. But the tracks go a long way, so I don't know if I'm north or so. Well, you actually have a compass, but... Unknown fruit. You can uh, use the compass um, if you find a landmark to know which way to go. You can also see coordinates on it. 46 west, 20 south. Memorize coordinates for places you like.
Is that Thunder or is that a Puma? All right. I don't know. We're going to go this way instead. I hear stuff. Yeah, it might be thunder. They sound kind of similar. See, I'm I'm going through. I'm having trouble with that because I am smackhead. I am uh, listening through speakers instead of headphones. So it's harder for me to discern the sounds. But there's been a few times when I'm like, oh, that's just thunder, and then I do die. So, that is a stingray. And as the name suggests, they will sting the crap out of you. Mm, I'm going to go this way. Oh, my character needs to sleep soon. If you fall asleep on the ground, you risk getting worms. The only way to remove worms is to rip them out, which then gives you lacerations. Hmm. I do kind of want to go that way. I'm thinking I can't probably climb it, though. Is that a cave? This is a cool little place. So I'm going to go ahead and sleep on the floor and hope I don't get worms. At the moment, there's not. It's, um, it's surviving as long as you can and progressing through the different tech tree tiers, you know? Going from building a, a wooden house to a, a bamboo to a mud if you want. There's no real... Yeah, I got a worm. Crap. That sucks. Alright, I created a laceration. Now I'm going to use a bandage. Um, I think they plan on adding more, especially with the story mode. I'm excited about the story mode. The only thing I know so far about story is... You are an anthropologist, and you're here with your significant other. I don't know if she's your wife, girlfriend, whatever. And she is some sort of linguist, I think. Like, sh so you're here. You've you've been here before. You've come here before to contact this tribe. And I found I figured all this out from the tutorial, um, which you'll see tomorrow. here and stuff um, you've been here before you've made contact with the tribe before and now you're back and there seems to be some reason where you and her believe that it's vital that you make contact with this tribe I don't know if it's because you're you're misguided and feel like it's uh, it would be beneficial for them or if there's something you need to figure out or I don't really know um, well, I just know that you and her feel like you have to contact this tribe. It's very important. So this time, you brought her along. And she's going to go communicate with the tribe. And uh, all I know so far is things don't go according to plan, as things often do not. I'm going the opposite way of where I wanted to go. So I think the um, the story is going to revolve around contacting a tribe, the dangers involved, trying to survive. Really? Really? <laughs> I'm being extra careless tonight. Alright, let's see. Craft.
Uh, just tell your girlfriend you're only with her for her, her, uh, language speaking abilities. You just need her to speak with this tribe. That's all. You're just using her. I'm showing you how to get bit by snakes over and over again. That whistle sounded almost like a tribesperson. It could have been a creature, though. Um, need to go this way. Tribes people are. You can crouch. Ah. My alt tab by moment for a moment. You can crouch. I'm not sure if this game has like actual stealth mechanics like i'm not sure if crouching behind a tree will make me less visible to the tribe or not or animals i really don't know i'm thinking at this point in time probably not hmm I need to go this way somewhere. I'm usually not this careless. But I'm just not paying as much attention right now to the floor. And I keep getting bit by snakes. If I get bit by another snake, then I'm going to be a race, a race against time again to find a plant. Hmm, I kind of want to go this way, don't I? What is this? Expiring soon, I should eat. I'm gonna eat this mess meat. My character got bit by so many snakes that he needs to eat to feel better. I think if I was in the Amazon, I would probably be losing my sanity. I'd be talking to myself like crazy and saying, you know, why can't there be a McDonald's here? McDonald's is everywhere. McDonald's likes to shop in every town, every city, every intersection, next to every highway. Why is there no McDonald's in the middle of the <laughs> middle of the Amazon? Snake over there. Like the end of, uh, that's a hive right there with, uh, the end of, uh, Castaway, Honeycomb, Tom Hanks, he's just like staring at a glass of ice cubes and he's just like, huh, the things you miss, you know, I'm paraphrasing, I don't know his exact quote, but he's talking about how <laughs> you don't really think about ice cubes very much until you've been stranded somewhere for a long time and realize you don't have them. Hmm. I really want to go south, and it seems like the terrain wants me to go everywhere but south. That is a big lizard. I want to kill him just because how big he is. I don't know if I've killed a lizard that big before. Oh well. Did 
You can hunt a lot of animals. I'm passing them up because I have so much food already anyway. And they respawn. And if you wipe out all the tribes people, they'll respawn too. Really hard to, uh... To watch out for snakes in this kind of area. Oh man, I know where I'm at. I want to say I got down from here before without dying. Let's see. Is there a way I can kind of... Yeah, it's tricky. Gotta be real careful. Alright, good. Marva. Armadillo. Thanks for following me, by the way. Ooh, thunder. Now that one's definitely thunder. Ooh, cave. I've never been in this cave before. Four prong spear. Remember I lost my spear? That makes me so happy. Ooh, what's on me? Is it leeches? Ooh, my character passed out. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't sleep enough. I'm not afraid of your passed out message. I've played Dark Souls. You've died. Oh, now I'm all dirty. No problem. Sleep well. Thanks for stopping by and thanks again for the follow. I really appreciate it. I will uh, suffer in many ways while you sleep. Nah, I probably won't be streaming too much longer. Oh wow, what is that sound? I've never heard a scorpion make that sound before. I have more poisoning to contend with. You have a good night. Hmm. That's gonna work. Woohoo. I will live to die another day. My character doesn't pass out again in a second. And scorpions everywhere. I'm gonna sleep again. Whew. How much of my food has spoiled? Nothing really. Pretty good. Gonna eat some bananas. Some of these. Ooh, I got no water. Does this give me any hydration? Nope. Wow, I need water. I need water bad. Hmm. Ooh, awesome. Should have kept some of those coconut shells. Well, if I had a coconut right now, I'd be able to get plenty of water from that rain. Hmm. 
Mm, nothing else significant in here right now. Well, I guess we're exploring some more. Six thirty, huh? It's so dark. Am I still heading south? Nope. I need to turn this way. I'm probably not too far from one of my bases. Oh, this is a good unknown fruit, but it's gonna give me food poisoning. Do I have any charcoal? Yes, I do. Does that have hydration? Nope, just carbs. Probably not worth it right now. Ooh, yeah. I know where I am. This is one of my bases. And here is some some coconuts. Drink. Drink. Awesome. Yeah, this is my first base. Woohoo, saved. Drink some water. Awesome. I need a ton of water. I'm gonna drink some of this unsafe water. And I got parasites. Now I need to go find some mushrooms to cure my parasites. None right there. Probably got parasites from being dirty while I drank water. Hmm. Guess I'm crossing this log again. Come on. Get on top of the log. Let's see. There's usually some mushrooms somewhere around this way. Hmm. Man, every one of these logs that I remember having mushrooms don't have any right now. What about this one? Ah, oh, that's an egg. That's nice. Uh oh. There's tribesmen around me. I don't care about mushrooms that much. They're in there somewhere. Yeah, leeches on me too. Wow, they're up there, aren't they? I thought they were down the river a little bit, but nope, they're up there. Do that. Eh, I don't need that right now. I'd really like to get rid of the damn parasites. Actually, no. I thought I had one of the fruits that gets rid of parasites, but apparently not. Okay. Well, maybe there's a, uh, a mushroom somewhere over here that I passed up. Sometimes I see them here and there. In this case, there's none here. They're all there, but... Maybe I'm not going to find any at the moment. Let me wash myself off. No, actually, I don't need to anymore. Okay. 
character's clean because of the rain. Where's the leeches? Bye bye. I think the parasites are gonna go go away on their own. I do need to wash myself off. A little bit. Well, I know that the uh, lilies around here get rid of food poisoning, but I don't think they get rid of parasites. Go ahead. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it a night um, and end the stream. Even though I have parasites, I really wanted to treat them first. I like to uh, start the game next time on a, a good foot without having to worry about anything. But I don't see any mushrooms. And I'm not going out there to find them right now. But, um, yeah, thanks everybody for stopping by. Thanks for the follows. And, um... I'll be playing some more of this and maybe uh, some other games soon. I'll probably be on tomorrow night, maybe around the same time. And uh, yeah, see you guys later.